feeling Maison Manuvie, a brand new building right in the heart of downtown Montreal at 900 Maison Neuve West. Beautiful place, high ceilings. It's a collaboration between Evanoué Cambridge and Manuvie. It's the grand opening tonight of Maison Manuvie, downtown Montreal. What's different about this building? Well, this building is really the most uh, modern building that uh, is being delivered to the market. What is uh, particular about the building is the technology that has been used. We are at the leading edge of technological advances with regards to construction in Montreal. Tell us about this huge, beautiful lobby we're in. We're in a magnificent lobby that will have a lot of natural light. The ceilings are 40 feet high, and uh, not only is it the space that will uh, welcome visitors and uh, occupants of the building, but it is also a location where uh, events can be held. And also tonight we will be unveiling a major piece of art that uh, is just uh, behind us, yes. What's the association you make between art and business? So Ivano Cambridge is the real estate arm of Caisse de Puy de du Québec. In each of our properties, you will find major pieces of art. We have uh, five office buildings uh, in Montreal, namely Maison Manuvie, also Place Ville-Marie. We also own the Fairmont Reine Elizabeth Hotel, as well as uh, Eaton Centre Montreal. And tonight, uh, you will be very impressed, I believe, with uh, what we're going to unveil. How does it feel to be finally standing in the building. It's so great. I think the nicest aspect of my profession is to be able to start with a white page and finish inside a constructed It's building. amazing. It's amazing. I can remember 15 years ago when we started to study the city. We love Montreal so much that we really want to do a great building in the city. But what exactly inspired you to build the building like this one? Many things. We always think about the views. So how are we going to give the best views to people living in the building? And also, because you're in an office building downtown, how do we make sure that people will feel it? So when you're in the Grand Hall right here, the glass behind us is very white and transparent. So we almost feel we're in the city, in the action. And what was the biggest challenge of building a building like this one? Making sure in 40, 50 years, you'll look at it and you won't feel like it was built in 2017. Other than that, it's efficiency. How do we make the plans as efficient as possible? When you do an office building, there's rules to follow. And just to get there, it takes a lot of work. We are with the president of Manuvie right now. So tell us about your association with Ivanhoe Cambridge. It's a great pleasure to be associated with Ivanhoe Cambridge as co-owner of the building. And this is a prestigious building. It's a landmark in Montreal. And then as the major tenant, we only have excitement today from our people. And I think Manuvie is also a business that's looking for the future. Uh, we think that there's a lot of possibilities of growth for us in Quebec, for sure. Quebec is a knowledge-based economy. We want to position our ourselves at the convergence of the finance, the technology and the research hubs and bring our relevance to the growth of social economic development in Quebec. How is it to see your art piece settled in that building? You know, we've been working on this project for, I don't know, a year and a half. And so to see it from design to actually being realized is like a dream. I mean, it's been hard to get to this place, but once it's presented, it's now no longer mine, it's just the city's. So you won a competition. Manu V and Ivanhoe Cambridge had a competition of different artists who came up with concepts for the big atrium. And I won that competition and I'm excited because it's the very first project that I do that's permanent in Montreal. How does it work? There's a little camera underneath this huge display that does tracking of colors. It'll keep on looking for people and it'll only extract the most saturated colors and that's what drives the display. The colors will be reflected into the artwork itself. So it's never the same, it's always evolving. 